Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. A big thank you to my Tiki for sponsoring this video. As always we'll have a look at some of the games that release without any prior warning or were just missed off of one of these videos for whatever reason over the last couple of weeks before moving on to the games coming out this week specifically and we'll be looking at the dates from the 24th of April up until the 30th. So what's on its way this week? Well, let's find out. Let's start with the games that are already out then and the first one is called Later Alligator. This is a point and click game where you play as Pat the Alligator who is trying to uncover the secret behind the mysterious event his family is planning for him in the heart of Alligator New York City. You'll need to explore the city and take part in dozens of mini games in order to try and solve the mystery. This has been out on Windows for a couple of years and as far as I can see has very good scores. It's selling for £14.99 or your regional equivalent. Next is a game called Dwarf Journey which came out last week and is selling for £6 but does have 20% off of that price which should still be in effect for a couple of days after this video goes live. This is a roguelite platformer with random generation and you'll be fighting enemies including bosses to gather experience and customise your character. As well as this you'll be collecting minerals to forge better equipment and gathering ores and weapon blueprints within the depths of the caves. I actually saw this game because of a video on a channel named the Indie Gaming Guild run by a man named Jeffrey. A very good video it was, explained the game very well and I'll put a link to that video in the top in comment if you want some more information. Perhaps give it a watch and subscribe over there if you like what you see, he produces very good content. A big thanks to Tiki for sponsoring this episode. What exactly is Tiki? Well, essentially, what it allows you to do is cut out the middleman. When you're using your phone to browse the internet and use different sites, the data that you have stored on servers is often sold to third parties. What you can do here is connect your account, so social, Amazon, Netflix, to Tiki, and it will then show you the data that those services hold on you, and you get to monetize it rather than Netflix or Amazon or whoever it is. So it cuts out the corporations, which in my opinion is absolutely brilliant. It's quite a new startup, so the more people that join it, the more power essentially those users are going to have over their own data. And it puts it into perspective when you think that the data, even in 2020, that companies sold on yourselves, myself and pretty much every internet user, was worth $380 billion. So hit up that link in the description. Check it out for yourselves. That will help you sign up and join the revolution. Thanks to Tiki for sponsoring this episode. And finally, for the games that are already out, you have Hitchhiker, a mystery game, which is selling for £17.99. It says here, Hitchhiker is a mystery game set along lost highways where your goal is to solve the puzzle of your own backstory. You are a hitchhiker with no memory or destination and you catch a series of rides across a strange and beautiful landscape. Each of the drivers has a story to tell and clues will appear along the way to help you piece together your life. It sounds like an interesting game which includes environmental puzzles and the choices that you make when speaking to the drivers will reveal your own dark secrets. Moving on to this week's games then and the first one is called Death End Request. This is a mixture of turn-based RPG and visual novel, but it says here it will take everything you know about those two genres and turn it on its head, taking part in the action of the RPG and the investigative side of the visual novel. You'll be investigating the real world, or you can dive into the dungeons with every choice you make affecting which of your characters will live or die. It says change the tide of battle by changing the game genre and it also states that this particular version includes all of the free and paid DLC that was originally released for previous versions of this game. Then you have Fly Together which is coming out on the 28th and will sell for £13.49 and this is a multiplayer game of explosive airplane action. Each player takes the role of an air traffic controller looking to bring the planes in safely by drawing flight paths and avoiding collisions in increasingly challenging action puzzles. You can play the game with up to 8 players and I'm assuming it will get pretty damn hectic if you have that many people playing or you can take the game on in single player mode. 
This is a sequel to the game Conduct Together which is also on the Switch and I must say I do actually really like these sort of games. There was one on the Wii that was really cheap, it was on the 3DS as well, where it had you having to bring in planes of different colours, switching the colour of your landing bays to get points and combos, and I played that game for absolutely hours and I can't remember the name of it for the life of me. If you know what I'm talking about, please do stick the name of it in the comments because it is doing my head in that I can't remember it. And next you have the Grisaya Phantom Trigger 01-05. to Now I know this series is very popular amongst some people and I think this collection got a physical release in Asia but I must say it's not one I know very much about at all. It says here it's a collection of volumes 1 through 5. Experience the first half of Grisaya Phantom Trigger through this new bundle. It is a visual novel, I know that much, and I think I'm right in saying that this one isn't particularly interactive, I think it is very much like a story, and I think it might have even had an anime as well, but I could be wrong there. If you do know more than me about this series and would like to share it with us, please do stick it in the comments. I do quite like visual novels myself and I'm always intrigued to learn more about ones I don't know very much about. Anyway, it's selling for £53.99 and it's coming out on the 28th. And next you have a game called Reckonum Sherry Dreamland. This is a 2D platformer and very much has the style of one of the 1930s cartoons, Fleischer Studios, that sort of thing, using characters with that classic rubber hose in form. Having said that though, the game itself seems to use pixel art rather than that animated style. I'm assuming that's just for cutscenes. And there is another game already on the Switch called Reckonum and I'm assuming this is a sequel to it. It says explore thematic levels, unlock new weapons and upgrade your skills, fighting fearsome bosses inspired by classic gameplay. Decipher the poetic words of the ancestors when you travel through the dream world and reach the real final outcome. I'm not quite sure what all of that means, but it does look quite standard fare in terms of platforming. But I do quite like the premise of using that animation style for a platformer, although I would be a bit dubious as to whether the decision to use pixel art would be able to deliver that style appropriately. It's selling for £6.29 and comes out on the 29th. And next then, this is possibly my pick of the week, it's definitely close with another, this is Battle Axe. This is an arcade top-down hack and slash featuring high quality visuals, so says the blurb, and a soundtrack provided by a composer, Manami Matsume. This can be played solo or in co-op with three characters to choose from, and I really do love the pixel art used in this game. It looks absolutely wonderful, the use of colour, it looks so vibrant, the characters look full of life, and I really do like the fantasy setting too. The trailer also mentions being able to find weapons and artefacts to help you along the way, and the screenshots show that you have an XP bar, so it looks as if it might have some sort of progression system tied in too. It's selling for £24.99, which may be a bit high for some people, but I believe this one does have a physical version, and that would be how I would pick this one up. The penultimate game for the week then, and probably the most anticipated, I don't think it's unfair to say, this is new Pokemon Snap. Now Pokemon Snap, the original game, came out for the Nintendo 64. It's not a game that I ever owned despite having that system. I wasn't too big on Pokemon back then. I know it's a game that is very well liked and people have been clamouring for a sequel for a long time now. I think most people kind of stopped dreaming for one after it didn't happen for the Wii U as the gamepad looked like the perfect tool to use as a camera but happily for fans of the series there is now this sequel on the way. As far as I understand it, it effectively plays as an on-rail shooter if you like but instead of shooting obviously you're snapping photos and you have to try and get them in certain positions using bait to take better photos. The blurb doesn't give too much away it must be said other than saying that you'll explore deserts, jungles and more as you photograph fan favourite Pokemon and discover never before seen Pokemon expressions and behaviours. As I said, I'm pretty sure this would be the most anticipated game of the week. I'd be interested to hear how many of you played the original back in the day. Whilst I don't feel it for this game in particular, I know how amazing it is when you have a game that is close to your heart and it eventually gets a sequel, it's a great feeling. Here's a park at night. 
Let's try playing a melody. Oh, that sure made Hoot Hoot happy. And the last game for the week then, this is our type Final 2. This would be the other one for me personally that I'm highly anticipating along with Battle Axe. I'm a big fan of shoot 'em up games and I've played a lot of the R-Type games over the years, but I've never played the original to this particular game, R-Type Final, which I believe was on the PlayStation 2. I think that one came out in about the early 2000s, so it's about 20 odd years just under maybe in the making until this sequel arrived. It says here, feel the rush of mowing down the hordes with your fleet of R-Type fighters, equipped with an arsenal of new and classic wave cannons, force units, bit devices, and devastating Delta weapons. It goes on to say, R-Type Final 2 unites the explosive action of the original games with modernized visuals and gameplay features, making this a must-have title for new and old shoot 'em up fans alike. It's selling for £35.99 and it comes out on the 30th, but it does also have a demo that you can download and play now. So there you have it then, another week of Nintendo Switch releases. A week, I think it's fair to say, that starts quite quietly, but definitely builds up towards the end. Which games interest you? Please do let us know in the comment section below. Another thank you to my Tiki for sponsoring this video. Full links to their service will be available in the top pinned comment. Thank you to our Patreons as always for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care, stay safe and until next time, happy gaming.